I got a new video. I got a new video. Alicia Michelle, I'm ready to go. Your vision, fam. Are you ready for the show? Hey, your vision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. Right now, I'm gonna be giving you my reaction to Malta's first rehearsal here in Lisbon, Portugal. Let's talk about it. So I'm doing a full reaction to Malta's song because I feel like Malta and I, we've been having this love-hate relationship <laughs> this year. Honestly, like, there's a level of this song that I actually like, I'm kind of intrigued by. And then there's a level of it where I'm like, does this really fit? Does this really match? Ooh, something's going off. But let's talk about it. So first of all, we knew that Malta was gonna actually really have some dope staging. I think that was something we knew. I'm not surprised. And the staging looks expensive. It's very high tech. We've got these augmented reality features that are coming out and it honestly, it looks really slick. It looks great. There's energy in the performance. I don't feel like it lags. And the thing about it is this song, the issue with the song from my perspective really is the lyrics are a little bit clunky at times, a little bit trite and cliche. Now, yes, I know this song has a message and that's great, but I've said this before, just because your song has a message doesn't mean you get a pass. I still need to judge you just like I judge any other song. And just because your song has substance to it and is like standing for something doesn't necessarily mean that like you get to make mistakes like having trite, cliche, clunky lyrics. That's just not okay and I can't just let that slide. I think my biggest critique for this song is the fact that it is really expensive and slick on stage. It looks great but now we need the technical side of it. We need those camera angles to be tight, to kind of match the energy that we're getting on stage. We need to go from here to here. And there's a lot of these sweeping camera shots that I don't think always work. For this iteration, I think the song is so impactful. We need the camera angles to match that. And I have to say, you know, it's really weird because I think when Sergei Lazarev had the staging that he had in 2016, everyone was like, oh, this is so extra. Why are they doing all that? Why? Why does it have to be all this tech? Why can't you just stand there and sing the song? But like Malta's doing it and everyone's okay with it. Like that's not fair, that's not fair at all. I personally don't mind all the augmented reality. There's this one effect where she's standing there and you can see like a human heart beating and it looks really, really cool. I also like, there's like an augmented like world showing up. It looks so cool. And at the end of the day, I mean, this is a performance and Malta has to stand out. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with having all this staging. But here is my note for Malta. There is something about this vocal that seems very thin. It lacks depth. You know, she's going like, let our guards down. You know, it's instead of like punching it like, you know, it just, the, the vocal just needs some bass to it. It needs a little bit of power on that level. And we're just not getting it. And I think I've given this note before. Christabel is pitchy at times. She's a little bit pitchy and that vocal just needs to have that bass, it needs to have that power. And I think it will and I think that it can. And once it has that, I could easily see this song not only qualifying, but finishing quite well here on the Eurovision stage because the performance was actually really good. Well, I should say the staging was really good. Camera angles need to be tighter and I need Christabel to work with a vocal coach to just give that power in the vocal and bring that bass to the vocal to really punch it. Well, those are my comments. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. You know this is a conversation. Don't forget to like this video if you like it and definitely subscribe because I've got way more content coming for ya. <laughs> Bye.